decide on regions. This is really important. So number two is regions. Probably should scribble some things down as we go. But number one, your goals. Number two is regions. What regions are you, should you be selling to? So right now you might be selling right across New Zealand, you might be selling right across Australia, you might be selling right across the world. Have a look um, and get a, a report done on the, the gross profit dollars per customer or per region. Um, figure out where the low hanging fruit are. It's so important. We, we coach so many clients um, in all sorts of businesses from small turnovers to, to huge um, sales turnovers and it's incredible how many businesses even 20 years old are selling to trying to sell to too many people or, or spreading themselves too thin when they need to be concentrating on just one region or two regions and then growing from there so think about that so decide on your regions this is very important when in the in part of your mark as part of your marketing plan so are you going to sell into Auckland only are you going to sell into the Golden Triangle um, are you just going to focus on the South Island what is it where is the where is the best um, best place to sell your products? Is it close to home so it's easy for remedials if something goes wrong? Is it close to home because it's close to the freight? It's close. It's, it's cheaper for freight, so you have better margins. What is it? So decide on regions. Be really clear around that. Really important. Might sound obvious. Again, it's incredible how many businesses don't do this, or they lose the discipline of this, and they spread themselves too thin, and they end up. Um, reducing their margins by 5%, 10%, all sorts of crazy things and wasting their time and getting too much stress, too much pressure. Now is the time to consolidate and rework your marketing plan. Really, really important. So number two is regions. <laughs>